Before removing these screws, I'm going to take this X-Acto knife and go around the saw nut just to make sure I break the bond of any varnish that might have been applied to this saw after the saw nuts were installed. Because if I don't do this, there's a chance that the nuts will be slightly glued in and that will cause the wood to split. So a few minutes here saves a lot of heartache later. Because even though this is a second line to the Atkins company, it's a nice saw. and well worth the trouble to bring it back to useful condition. I have a personal issue with saws that are painted and hung on walls. Everybody has their thing and I suppose that the artist doing that needs to make a living too. There are so many other things that you can paint on. Yep, got some varnish on the bottom of that hole there. I have to use a little gentle persuasion. If I run the brass nut onto that bolt just a little bit so that the threads are well engaged and I tap on it I can pop that bolt right out of the other side. Doesn't take much. Just enough to knock it loose. Yep, they had varnish on them. They were stuck in there pretty well. There we go. Saw totes free of the blade. Now with the tote removed, I'll be able to clean up the saw plate so that the whole thing looks as good as that part that was underneath the handle. <laughs> 